All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, we just did our resync and are ready for episode two of the 4X Alchemist head-to-head -head Cravers versus Lumeris rematch. Um, we have the worst starting spot in the galaxy I've ever seen. These are all crap planets. This one's amazing. Um, and so we are already sieging the Empire. We've taken our first minor sieve up here, which gave us uh, Thinkers and Tinkers, which is amazing. So we're not doing too bad. Really, it's it's a Craver. Only the Cravers could, could have salvaged this start, in all honesty. So luckily, that's who we're playing. Maybe the Empire as well. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're doing okay. We'll survive. Um, yep, so we got our... Oh wait, that's our first termite. Amazing. Alright, so we also want to grab a pupa as soon as possible to get our second place. Or our third place. Our second new place. So we'll send our termites up there, and you'll see that it's going to jump from 16 to like 48. And that's going to let us whittle down these defenses much faster. Uh, and should allow us to take... Uh, take his capital in one turn, um, which is going to be great. All right, looks like he threw down another thing here on the ash. I don't even want... So I want to get here and kill this outpost before it becomes a colony because I just don't even want it. Like, <laughs> it's going to be so bad for so long that I just don't even want it. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's the correct term. Yeah, because when you take a place, you have to um, wait for it to be to fully come under your control, and which is twelve turns. So if you take a place that you don't want and are just waiting to evacuate it, you have to wait for twelve turns. So I want to just go in and kill the kill the outpost uh, before it becomes a colony. And uh, and you can see we have this massively powerful fleet, uh, having our starting hero and our. Quest ship sitting here on his um, on his capital, and he just can't really do anything. Um, I mean, if I was, <laughs> I've caught James in this situation as well, and he just gives up because there's so little you can do. It's, this type of start is just so suffocating from the Cravers, um, because I, I sat my dude on his. Uh, on his capital, my fleet of six ships on his capital on turn, what was that? I think it was, let's see, so it was, I captured on turn seven, turn 10 to get here, and then turn, yeah, so on turn 12, I was already sieging his capital with a fleet that he could never match. So, pretty rough for him. Um, we're rushing rare earth foams. In fact, we actually don't need to rush it that hard. Let's get the the guns. Um, we're going to be getting rare earth foams early because we want the Mediterranean here to get the titanium. Fortunately from discovering the titanium we got five uh, just from discovering it. So we were able to pump out two termites which are going to really help us uh, take down the empire uh, much much faster. So that was a really good find. Um, what we are going to do is be settling a whole lot of steps <laughs> a whole lot of steps um, so we have one down here because the steps are the only other colonizable places that we have so we have one down here one over here one here uh, and those are going to be our starting colonies there's also this one uh, this other unique planet up here which is going to be really nice um, but that's really it so we have two really, really nice places with the unique planets uh, surrounded by total, total crap. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see how this guy does. Wow, with one person, with one person, he produces 81, 60, 17, 13. Wow, that is insane amounts of awesomeness. I love it. Um, so yeah, let's just get our Xeno Industrial, our public privates. I don't even think sustainable farms is going to be worth it. Um, let's get the cerebral reality. And what do we want to do next? After that, I'll probably have something else to do. They will probably colonize that planet by then. Um, 
right, let's just uh, let's just keep moving. All right, these guys are now ecstatic. Awesome. Um, so they should actually be able to grow and sustain a population, which isn't amazing, but it's something. Um, next, we are going to want to start getting our um, markets and buyouts because we're going to get some nice transvine and uh, blue cat mold. We'll probably be using transvine as our stage one upgrade uh, because we can really make really great use of that happiness. So you get 25 happiness and that's two and a half extra slaves that you can, that you can use it, uh, throughout the game. Yeah, so you can see it went up, jumped up to 48. Uh, so we'll just sit on this for, I mean, we might as well take it down to zero. So three more turns. I'm not in a rush. Taking another, taking out another civilization at turn 23 is pretty damn fast. Uh, and I'm okay with that pace. Uh, I am going to make it a pupa here and go down and grab Iso. Uh, and it's not even a little bit exciting, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, that's it. Um, Gravers. <laughs> uh, I love them. Gotta love them. Oh, uh, one thing I do want to do is grab a couple more locusts. And then uh, oh, after we get a couple more locusts that can fend off some pirates, I'm just going to go park them over on that other sieve. As I said, we're going to just be keeping the militaristic um, government forever. Yeah, so I'm going to build a couple more locusts, park them on here, start that siege. It's going to be nice and slow. I'm in no rush to get this place because it's also crap. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. So we got uh, baryonic shielding for free, which is, I mean, it doesn't help us colonize anything, but we might be able to jump over here and grab this one if we wanted. Could be an interesting option. Um, it really depends. Oh, I forgot to move this guy. Oh, well. We'll get a little bit of extra dust and some extra curiosities. What do we got? got some dust loads and some dark shitter. All right. Fascinating. All right, so let's head over here. I think the Lumeris homeworld is going to be here. Just my guess. It might also be here. Um, yeah, we'll see. This guy is moving around. They are down to 66, going down nice and fast. Yeah, uh, I'm bringing up my second uh, termite because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them up. So termites are also the best at killing outposts of anyone. So if I send him to sit on top of this uh, outpost, he'll kill it in one turn as opposed to, you know, 15 turns or whatever if I move to this whole fleet over there. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm gonna move him up. We're gonna take this place. We're gonna split up a little bit. Main fleet and one termite's gonna go up here. One termite's gonna go over here to kill this outpost. And uh, we're just gonna move on from there. And then yeah, once it's killed, he'll move over here and, and be in time to accelerate the mouse. Uh, mouse capture. All right, we got some more curiosities waiting for us over here. Wow, we're doing really well. We're doing really well with these curiosities. Love it. Ooh, and basic fusion torpedoes. That's gonna be really nice. Um, which makes me think that I don't need focus plasma anymore. Or at least it's not nearly as important. So let's get our Mediterranean. And I think that means we should rush these? Hmm. It's an interesting question. What's more important? We could get interplanetary transport network. Not really beneficial to us. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think getting efficient shielding is going to be really nice. Because then when we have our... Because you really don't want to use um, missiles until you have some guys to kind of take hits and, and be the focus for uh, for your missileers. So that's why having your uh, your protector style ships um, are going to be really strong. Um, that's really when you can start utilizing that type of thing. 
All right, so we got our pupa. Let's go head down to Gestrad. We're going to kill this foolish thing. Yep, he run away. Like he should. Uh, this should be down to almost dead. Yep, 18. We'll wait one more turn. Grab up this pupa. Send him down to... Ooh, actually, since I got... Uh, do I want to go over here? Is this better? We got strange fossils, transvine, and something. Hmm. Is that savanna better than this step? It's a tiny step. I think it is. Yeah, so we're going to head over here. And since we got that baryonic shielding for free, might as well utilize it. Okay. Um, next thing. I think I'm going to make another fast scavenger. Um, so just a two. Ooh, I have the upgraded these now. Ooh, very cool. Um, but I don't want to waste my... Do I want to waste my titanium? Yeah, I do. Alright, so I'm going to make a fast scavenger with two probes, but he'll, uh, they'll regenerate every turn. So, I'm going to make that, and since I and use my one remaining titanium from uh, from my ti original titanium discovery. Uh, Alright, so this is going to be going down nice and quickly. There we go, that's what I want to see. Um, actually, there's no reason for that one to stay here. So let's just send our termite with full movement all the way over here, because it's going to go down to zero even without him. Then the faster we can kill this thing, the better I'll feel. Excuse me, the better I'll feel. Okay. Um, yeah, we also want to take this thing pretty soon in order to unlock our infinity shield. Uh, hopefully we'll get it at about the same time as we're getting our first um, fighter class ships, or standard uh, attack ships. Um, because we definitely want to get that those shields on them and get that 30% extra health. Uh, without having to upgrade. Ooh, actually that reminds me, you need titanium for that as well. So, this will be done in two turns, perfect timing, then we'll just go straight for the Mediterranean uh, and start building up our supply of titanium, because we're going to be using a lot of it. Like a lot, a lot of it. <laughs> uh, especially since we're going to be focusing uh, kinetics, so we'll also be getting these. Um, so yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing our thing. Um, I am thinking that this guy is really not doing that much here. He's not even really getting experience. So I think I'm just going to pull him for now. Uh, and send him down here. Grab this experience for Xeno Industrial Plant. Hello. Oh no, James ended his turn. Damn. <laughs> so he's not going to get that experience for, uh, for Xeno Industrial Plants, unfortunately, so. I was a little bit late, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Hopefully that came here, no. Went to Vega. The Empire has a proposal. Uh, definitely not getting interested. Oh, it actually probably went up here to Mar Marataka. Yeah, there it is. I wish it went over here. I'd really love to get some slaves in here. Oh, cool. It wasn't done this turn. All right, so let's get our forced labor as always, because this thing is amazing. Uh, can, that's probably gonna put us, yeah, over a hundred food. Holy crap, this place is so amazing. <laughs> um, this is gonna fill up so quickly and it's gonna be so good. All right, we're also gonna wanna get that curiosity, um, might as well, and get these things here. And this is also Garden of Eden, holy crap. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I might be able to sustain on just kind of those four places, or those kind of two places, because my starting place was not very good. His starting place was not very good. And so we're just gonna, just gonna do our thing. Uh, okay, so they should be down to zero, correct? Yes. All right. Oh, I should probably... Mm, I misplayed that. So the... Heroes get experience from taking planets as well, so I should have just left him in here for this turn. Take the planet like that. 
I love it when our plan comes together. And I would have moved them out now, but I'll just go here. I think that's going. Yeah, I think that's moving over here. Um, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Yep, so you can see his. we have his Terran place, which has an Arid, which is pretty good. Uh, not terrible, but decent. Uh, and then two, a tier three and a tier four, uh, which isn't great. Or uh, I think Ash is, is Ash tier two? Ash is tier two, isn't it? Yeah, so tier two and tier three. Um, it's not great, but I mean, Ashes in general, especially since it's irradiated, are, are not exciting. Um, so we need these and this, and actually we're going to do it in the other order so we, so we lose the minimum number as possible. What else do we want to do? Um, well, let's let it sit there for a while. Not too concerned about it. Uh, and getting those nice early, uh, Imperials are going to really boost our uh, our influence early game, which is nice because that's a huge. I mean, it's not a problem, but it's a deficiency that the Crapers have is that they don't really generate that much influence in the early game. We don't really need it for for that much, but it's nice to have. Wondering if it's so we're finishing efficient shield efficient shielding soon. And I'm wondering if it's even worth building these locusts. I think it is. I think the locusts against pirates are just so good and they're so cheap that building a ton of them is really strong. Um and it's just gonna just gonna really be good for us. Okay. I'm interested to see. <laughs> So uh, James and I decided that we're not going to upload any of these videos until we finish playing the game because neither of us trust each other not to take a little peek at the other person's start. So I'm really curious how James is doing because I'm having a pretty good Kraber start. Uh, I'm point leader even ahead of the other Kravers who's pink, um, but he's ahead of all the other AIs other than the, the two Kravers. So he's apparently doing pretty well as well. So I am, I'm curious. It's going to be really fun. Um, the late game, since, oh, we have the end of the turn here. Um, the mid and late game strategy that I came up with is really clever. I'm, I'm pretty damn proud of it. Um, <laughs> if we have some downtime in, in between some of the, uh, the turns, I'll explain it to you guys. Um, and hopefully, hope, I haven't actually tried it against a human player, but against the, uh, the AI matches that I've tried it, in it has been absolutely unstoppable so hopefully i can uh i can show you guys that yep as i said these guys are amazing at taking out uh colonies so it's gonna kill it in two turns by itself all right we're gonna start this guy over here um and i think it's gonna try and pull from gizar where is gizar is that my main place no that's all the way over there Okay, so where's this guy pulling from? This guy's pulling from Gazar. That's correct. Uh, and we're going to have this guy pull from Martarka or whatever. Yeah, Matarka. Just because it's closer. Uh, and then we don't have to worry about anything getting intercepted or anything like that. Um, so we'll spend the gold because we're not gold starved by any means. Um, and yeah, that should be fine. Hopefully all those ships we passed were coming this way and not coming down this way in an attempt to take his place back. Um, I think once I start blockading his uh, his area, we should be fine. Oh no, did I pass this? Damn, I passed that curiosity. Oopsies. All right, Magtarka's not doing anything. Um, I want you to build, might as well just build this while you're here. All right, so I want you to head over here, and grab these curiosities, because uh, you're pretty quick. Um, and he'll move. Go down and grab this. Go up and grab these. And then whatever is over here. Yep, so we found the Lumaris homeworld. Cool. I, I bet this all connects. 
That'd be interesting. Yeah, it looks like it all connects in another system over here. So that's going to be a really important uh, kind of choke point so that he can't come in and backdoor me. Uh, and then I'll have kind of a direct route to his capital. Which would be really nice. Because he's going to be my next target. Um, yeah, since I can't really expand too well on my own, um, I have to expand into them. Which, certainly not complaining too much about. Alrighty, we got our Mediterranean. Just going to keep our guys over here. So we're generating our... Wow, it's generating a hundred even though it's pulling a hundred from that outpost. Cool. Fail, you are broken. <laughs> okay, so we got another thing down here. What we got? Adamantium. Cool. Alright, um, it's encouraging to me that we've already secured uh, two... Wait, was that last game? Where did I find that? I don't remember. Never mind. Scratch that. I thought we had both adamantium and uh, antimatter already, but apparently not. So, ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um, so these guys are making some locusts. We'll get a efficient shielding next turn. So we can ditch these, and then we'll just be building those. Anything else that I want to do? think so. We'll start our siege over here. Fight this guy, who's probably... Yep, so we can always check to see if they switch weapons. So you see he switched to the beams. So we're just gonna hang back, uh, do some power to shields, not take any damage, I and mean, he ran away anyways. Which reminds me that we need to change our battle cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we need to change our battle cards, especially since we got those upgraded missiles. Um, the barrage fire is going to be really fantastic for us. That's what we're going to be using uh, for a good chunk of the game. All right, so we'll start that siege. We're getting a nice 45. Uh, this will be the next turn, I believe. Yep. And then he'll join us over here, and then that'll go down really, really quickly. All right. We got our dude over here. Let's find out what that is. Nice. Another adamantium. And a titanium enhancer. Also really nice. Cool. All right. I'm just curious what we're up to. 27. Mmm. I love thinkers and tinkers. Thinkers and tink is it thinkers and tinkerers? Thinkers and tinkers. Yep. So good. Best, best one in the game, without question. Nice scrapping two more. Double toxic. Blah. Wow, even better torpedoes. Cool. Alright, but those cost titanium. Uh, and we're going to be prioritizing our uh, our health shields over the uh, titanium missiles, just because we already have uh, other missiles. Holy crap! A Toll Boreal Terran? Wow, that's an amazing place. I am going to take that. Stupid Lumaris, you don't get cool things. Who do you think you are? Okay. This is a really interesting game. Like, huh, I'm wondering, I mean, I I don't think Gistrod's going to be any good, but I don't think there's any reason not to take it. No. I think that's correct. I think, I think still colonizing Gistrod is correct, but I don't think I need to do anything with Iso or any of, the, any of these other mediocre places, or like less than mediocre places. Um simply because they're just not that great. Um, let's see, so now we definitely don't, <clears throat> excuse me, now we definitely don't need Focus Plasma because we have those really good missiles. Um, so I think what I'm going to do next is grab markets. 
markets and then buyouts since we're generating so much gold being able to buy some stuff is really going to be great um because we don't really have any oh my gosh my nose is going crazy sorry guys <laughs> Oh man. Ooh, and another population. Sweet. And that's going to Matarka. I really need a craver population on here. Get some uh get some slavery going. Um, but it doesn't look I'm like I'm going to get one. That's okay. Alright. That outpost is dead, so he'll run on over there. Get there just in time for the last round, maybe two. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I think I'll probably just take it down to zero again. I mean, I'm really not in any rush. And I'm gonna go up here, take this one. Let's let's check out this. Ice savanna. Savanna arid's not bad. And this savanna looks pretty nice, and the arid's probably pretty similar. Um by the way, where is the I want him to come up here. Uh, Tarka, I want you to build. We gotta make our... <laughs> One of the most fun things in this game for me is making up my own ships, so I always just delete the ones that they start with. And we're gonna start with our Hornet class ships. And those are our soldiers, and they're going to, let's see, so 25 compared to 18. 25 and a 5% crit chance. Oof, those are really good. Uh, I guess since we don't have our shields yet, there's no reason not to use these that I can think of. And then we'll just... Let's see, so we're fighting Lumeris. Lumeris, 10 towards lasers, I like to think. Uh, we'll just do one of each for now. We might switch over to, uh, to these titanium enhancers. Um... If we want, if we need to. All right, so we have our Hornet class attack ships and our drone class defense ships, which are going to be using uh, normal slugs for a little bit of missile defense. A standard engine, since we're not getting any Hyperium yet. And double defense, double defenses and a heal kit. So that these guys get targeted first by any standard uh, attacking ship. So having this repair is going to make them way more durable, that they won't just progressively get more and more and more hurt and then die in extended campaigns. Uh, these repair kits will really give them some lasting, uh, some staying power in some uh, in the in more extended battles. So I highly suggest them uh, for your early game stuff. All right, so let's I don't know, might as well crank out a couple. Let's see why not. They can even provide support for our, uh, our locusts as well. Uh, they just tank the damage and then heal it up afterwards. All right, what do we have here? Ash, Ash, Arid. Less exciting than this place. Uh, I never looked at their capital either. So they start on the atoll and they have a tundra snow. Not horrible. Better than my start. Um, but I'll take it. This is the place that is going to be incredible. So I'll have th my three three main places, which are going to be uh, Nios, Ysel, and Gaiazar. My, my three kind of average places, which are going to be Andro or my two average places, my Andromeda and Nakos, because they'll have a temperate fertile. Vega will be slightly below average with its jungle. Good, but not great. And then Gistrad, Atarka, and Ying are gonna kind of be filler. They're just kind of there for the science, uh, science bonuses um, from uh, from public-private partnerships because they're all savannas or steppes. So I'll get be getting twenty science for each of them, and I think that's gonna be worth it. Uh, yeah, we're already up at two hundred science. Not great. Uh, I like to hit 350 by turn 35. Um, so we're not doing too bad. For for our start, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we had a we had a pretty awful start. 
let's be honest. Uh, Alright, so let's build a hornet and some drones, and these parts should leave me alone soon. Yep. Uh, and then we'll just meet up with our locust, go over here, and take these guys, get our, uh, our shields. Ooh, he came back. Now we'll go down and clear him out in a second. Alright, we're doing lots of stuff. Yo, so James is contacting me, and I don't know why. Yes. Oh. Hmm, so he's having a bug where he can't siege. Sure. So we're going to do a quick uh, save and load. So sorry for this little delay, guys. So we're going to call this Lou versus Cray. Alrighty, we're gonna load Lou versus Cray and invite James to the game. is and we are ready to go all right so during this uh this downtime we have i can talk about my my cool mid and late game strategy uh and it, it is 100 percent based around the infinity shield that you get from your chapter two um chapter two uh completion, the Infinity Shield, which gives plus 30% health. And since it's a defensive module, on your 3 CP ships, it gets doubled. So on the 3 CP ships, like the Hunter and, and Coordinator classes, uh, it, it gives you 60% health. So I rush um, the Coordinator class, the more defensive style, put a whole bunch of those shields on, and then use the... Uh, Adamantium repair bots, these guys down here from vacuum protection, um, to give you percentile health regeneration during and after the battle, and so you have these huge tanky health uh, health ships that get percentage health bonus, and then they're healing percentage health uh, percentage of that uh, health every round. Uh oh, he's saying it has no effect. So we're going to try and figure this out real quick. All right, so he says that we're just going to keep going. Maybe it will fix itself. OK, so hopefully we can still keep going, because even though this is a really strange and definitely suboptimal start, it's an interesting puzzle. I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, he's saying that if, uh, if he can't siege that place, he's pretty screwed. Which, uh, which I believe. Because if I couldn't siege, I mean, I'd be screwed too. Alright. Ooh, and this is the end of the constellation. Weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna, like, go up and take these guys' places, and then I'll have a constellation all to myself. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's find out what's over here. Maybe find some uh, some future exploration opportunities and more uh, more curiosities. <laughs> All right, I am no longer the point leader. Pink Cravers took over the bastards. All right, what do we got over here? We got just his corvettes. They're all short ranges, so we're gonna just try and grab some hornets. Grab a hornet and a drone and then I'll have another once those are done I'll have another uh, hornet available the Empire has a I refuse your troops okay so we got our drones coming in from over here so we'll just get them in uh, strike position this guy also needs okay so he's going up there that's good 
kill this guy or make him run away. So yeah, so he is once again the short range beams. So we're just gonna do those, make him run away. Yeah, it is my pet peeve with the uh, with the AI that they just send in these tiny little fleets and then run away and then heal and then come back and then run away and then heal and come back. It's just really annoying. You don't get anything from it really. Um, it just uh, takes up your time. You, know, you don't get any experience or anything uh, if they run away and you don't destroy them because you only get CP or you get experience based on CP destroyed not uh, damage done. I think you should get experience based on damage done. Um, which would be pretty cool. Alright, so we got our Hornets and Drones coming down here. Um, oh, I get three per turn, right? Yeah. So I think I can grab a Termite down here for that... Uh, the siege down on these guys. Um, and that's gonna make that go faster. I think it fixed itself. Oh, damn. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, so he's saying that we can continue for now. Hopefully it fixes. Okay, so he's gonna do a little troubleshooting hopefully uh hopefully fix the bug um and we're going to check back in in a couple turns so maybe uh we, we might continue this episode a little bit longer to try and uh and figure it out and then if he can't figure it out we'll just end the episode do a little closing comments and and probably on in all honesty probably start a new game because <laughs> we're really excited to play against each other with uh with my new strats. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll stand a chance in the late game now. Uh, okay, so we have this guy who's heading up there. That guy heading up there. So let's see, there's some pirates. Got our drone. The thing is being colonized. Oh, did I miss that one? Actually, no. Don't bother coming back. I'll just have my... Wow, I have so many of these for some reason. Sorry. Did I really build four? Scavenger, scavenger. Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, so I'll just have this guy swoop up through Iso and Cancer on his way up there and get those last few, uh, few curiosities. Okay, yeah, so he's not sieging nearly as fast as I am. And I can just come down and rock his world whenever. Okay, we got Markets. Fantastic. Stim City. Also fantastic. This is going to be great for us because um, we're going to have lots of problems with uh, with happiness. And we got this guy. Mm, sexy. He's my favorite hero. Uh, like Really just any Seeker is amazing. But specifically... Uh, Craver Seekers are just so good because they get the 40% projectile damage here, 40% damage on fleet there. They get their amazing movement bonuses and the, the hull penetration. Oh, they're just so good. I love them. All right. So is he invading me? All right. I'll just do a conscription and then win. So I'll probably lose two guys here. No big deal. Um, but by that time, this will be at zero. It is we can do our invasion, which is much more efficient. Send our big fleet down here. Kill these guys real quick, because yeah, he only has seven CP compared to our nine. Um, I, want, I think I'm just gonna have these guys hang out for now. All right, so we got this special place over here, which is producing a whole bunch. Um, let's get our public-private partnership for some extra science, and let's get a hornet and a drone. All right. 
Cool beans. So that's arriving in two turns. This will arrive also in two turns. Crap. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so this was two. So this is two turns, not including this turn because it already moved, and this was two turns, including this turn. So this is gonna hit there and have to run away. So I just wasted like half the uh, half the health on that one. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world by any means. Uh, so we'll throw him in here, I guess. I guess I already did, so there's nothing I can do about it now. But I think it, it'll be okay. Okay. So we got some more curiosities to look at. Looking at my soon-to-be place. So we got some pirates. Who are reasonably strong. 18, so that's 36 compared to my 32, and significantly, yeah. So, the uh, the Craver Scavengers are pretty good because they get two attack modules, um, but they still can't really compete with, uh, with those guys. Unfortunately. I would like them to be able to, but, but they can't. actually be able to do this if I pop out my hornet and my drone at the same time because my hornets are so powerful um, I think I'm just protect the system because I don't think they're gonna be able to take it nope uh, so yeah so my my hornets have 99 power compared to their 42 and they're all short range so I might be able just to kill them before they get to me so we're gonna try it. So we're gonna try doing this. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Um, so how did this go? Minor defeat. Yeah, kind of what I expected. Um, cool. So I found the uh, some more Riftborn. Up from there. Wow, these are so many pirates just running around. Oh, that's some more of his stuff. Interesting. Okay, so we got another drone that we will send here. Well, we might as well just have them come all the way down. Might as well. Okay, uh, next thing I want to do is... What do I want to do? Um, yeah, might as well just keep pumping out ships. I see no reason not to. All right, these guys will easily be able to handle some pirates, so let's set that up. Uh, these guys aren't building anything. So let us get definitely want the miners union since this is our only source of titanium at the moment and that's kind of what's gating us we'll definitely want to get that and might as well get this to start growing even faster oh yeah oh my gosh this place is going to be so incredible um yeah, so we're not attacking these guys, so I'm not sure if I can win this battle. Uh, I get 168 to my 116, and then if they get in close, they're just going to destroy me. And I really don't want to lose my early ships, you know, investing into it and all. Um, so I think I'm just going to try and survive another round without sacrificing, since I'm also going to have the manpower of these guys, which isn't a ton, but it might be enough. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I hope James is uh, is figuring out what's causing that bug. So what's happening is that he's trying to siege a, uh, a system, but it's just not letting him initiate the siege. So, really unfortunate. I hope he's figuring it out. Um, 
but if not, we'll have to restart, and that sucks, because this is a pretty cool, pretty cool My start friend, that I have here. Tell me what the families can do for you. Um... Yeah, I'm might since I have all this extra influence that I'm producing, I'm gonna try and uh, and I, I can't use it for civ, uh, minor civ influence or anything like that. I'm just gonna start demanding stuff from people, try to get some extra dust or that kind of thing. So um, let's get. We don't really have anything to build, so let's get some more science. All right, so this will definitely be fine. We'll just protect the system. Go away, I wanna see what happens. Okay, so they attacked me this time. All right, so we have our, these guys and these guys. So I think we're just gonna do barrage fire to maximize my Hornet's effectiveness. And then we have a bunch of guns here, so hopefully they'll be able to shoot down most of the enemy rockets. Ooh, wow, that did a lot of damage. And that's why you want to have your drones, because your drones will absorb that damage uh, and then heal back a good chunk of it uh, at the end of the turn. So that's why it's important to have drones, uh, preferably more than one, so you can distribute the damage a little bit. Um, have things work out nice and there. Okay, so these guys attacked here. So let's see how this works out. So we're definitely gonna wanna do barrage fire because we have to kill them before they get to us. I guess we could retreat. Yeah, let's just retreat. All right, and then we'll have my big fleet take care of them. Surprise. <laughs> uh, and these guys will really just uh, wreck him. All right, so he's uh, distributing it to both Flotilla 1 and 2. You can see because they're highlighted. Uh, and I'm actually going to sacrifice Flotilla 1 because it starts at medium range, so then I only have one free phase to kill them before they get to my Flotilla 1, where in Flotilla 2, I have two free phases, and then he gets to me. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to kill all of his Flotilla 2 before he gets to me here. And then I'll just be able to shoot at Flotilla 1 when he'll never be able to shoot at me. So, let's try this out. Uh, it'd be better if I had some rockets, but yes. Yeah, so, you see, you can see in this that he only put two guys here, which I killed very early. And then, in the last phases, I was just shooting at his guys over here, who are now hurt, and I took zero damage. So, that's probably the best way. I think retreating here was the correct move. Uh, let's get these last couple curiosities. Keep boosting our tech and industry. Nice. More blue cap mold and more adamantium. Nice. Adamantium is going to be a real uh, a bottleneck for us later in the game as well. Um, because we're going to be need to make lots and lots and lots of those, uh, those repair bots. Alright, so let's just send this out that way. I think I've got all the curiosities in this area, actually. Um, let's declare war on this guy, because there's no reason not to. Um, hmm. Let's head over here. Down to, down to there. And I think I'm just going to cross over and start exploring down here. Yep. I see no reason why not. And I want to leave from here, because if I go over here, I'm going to get attacked by those pirates. And we don't want that. Alright, who's not doing anything? You guys and you guys. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, so we're a little bit past the 45 minutes, but we're, uh, we're waiting to see if James can fix his bug. And if he can't, then, um, then we're just going to have to start a new game. Which is really unfortunate, because even though this start was really suboptimal and, and not very good, I'm having kind of, kind of a good time with it. Alright, so we finished our Focus Plasma, which is going to give us a little bit better armor and kinetic weapons. Um, so let's get our happiness system. We're just going to protect these guys again, because now we're way stronger, since we have these guys here backing us up. But we'll murder 
damage to the stuff here, and we will now wipe out these guys. Once again, using Barrage Fire. Alright, so that, that should be the last of his stuff. Um, I think. Uh, let's get everyone consolidated. I'm going to swap out a Locust for a Drone. Because, you know, tanking some more stuff is always good. Uh, I'm going to kill this guy when it comes in. Just for fun. Uh, I'm going to grab the Honeycomb Scope because this is a pretty important strategic area here. I, I, I think I might colonize Hekka just so I can put uh, a honeycomb scope on it and then get some good uh, good vision on anyone that's trying to come in through this back door. I don't know. We'll see. If the game ends up continuing, that's probably what I'll do. I really hope James fixes his problem. That would make me sad if he couldn't. Yeah, anyway, so to uh, <laughs> to continue what I was saying um, about my ships, um, so we use, we're going to be using these guys, the protector ships, the guard class, or the, sorry, the coordinator class um, guard ships, uh, and with a bunch of these adamantium repair bots, and our uh, infinity shields giving them percentage health bonuses and that's going to make them borderline invincible um, in all of my ai testing i have once i get to that point with infinity shields and the ai repair bots i have never lost a ship since then because all of the focus is is concentrated on them they heal 75 percent of their total health every phase of the battle and then they heal 100% of their health after the battle's over. So it, you have to kill them pretty much from 100 to zero in a single phase. And it's so crazy hard to do. All right. Ooh, James was the first person to colonize eight planets. Nice work, brother. All right, we're gonna do some more barrage fires. But I already killed a civilization. Blah. <laughs> okay. So we got these guys. We got another drone here. So let's grab these up. Head on over here. Uh, grab a termite and some infinite supermarkets. Yeah, because our uh, our war ended with the uh, with the empire now. There, now that they are eliminated. Do some more barrage fire. Nice. Okay, so I don't think I need to keep them down here. I think I'm just going to go here, here, here. And I, I want to leave them one place, their worst place. Air and Toxic Toxic seems like it might be their worst place, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three, and it's nice and out of the way. I'm going to take these three colonies from them, and then just sit a reasonably powerful fleet on top of uh, Omdor, and just keep them there. So I can just harvest that 25 happiness from them, uh, which will eventually go up to 35, and then they just will never really be able to do anything to me because I'll just have a fleet sitting on their face, and that's going to be their only uh, only colony. Um, so yes, because yeah, they're Lumeris and they can like buy places, but there's not going to be anything in vision. All right, and our guys leveled up. Sweet. Yeah, also the, uh, the Craver passives of you get 20% health here, 20% health here. So this makes my guys even tankier. It's a good thing. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Uh, Alright, so let's get you your bonus movement speed. Yeah, because we're going to be doing some some off-world stuff. So our next expansion route might be over into here. And then that's probably where I'll stop for a while. Um, the biggest problem and the biggest thing with... Uh, 
with Cravers and or the thing that was causing me to lose with Cravers is that I would expand too quickly and get run into problems with this uh, over colonization cap and start having my uh, my empire kind of implode from us uh, because when you get mutinous you lose 75% of your happiness or sorry 75% of your food that you produce and so you start getting uh, massive starvation and a whole bunch of other really really bad problems uh, so my goal is to maintain a much smaller empire at the beginning and uh, and expand correctly okay um, so he hasn't found out what is going on, so we're going to wrap up this video and do some troubleshooting off camera, and we'll continue it again if we can figure it out. Uh, otherwise, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first 33 turns of this head-to-head, -head, and we'll be back with a new video shortly. See you later.